Now on my channel, I always teach you how to make more money and how to create wealth. And one of the things that most people don't think about or they overlook is their credit score. And today I have Matthew with me from VIP Financial Ad, right? His channel, we're doing some collaboration. I thought, you know, Matt, why don't I just kind of pick your brain and share with my audience a little bit about how to build that perfect, you know, uh, credit score and also why is it important? So, I think most of us begin to realize the significance of credit and credit scoring early into college and after college yes. because most of us go onto campuses and we're yes. inundated with uh, these offers and we have no idea how our credit works and That's our right. social security number, right. it follows us around. And my personal story was the same. I, I, I got a Discover card. To me, it felt like free money. I maxed it out <laughs> in the first 30 days, yes. $1,000. Uh, I'm thinking, okay, maybe if I move enough, they'll never find me. Mm. It just kept following me around magically. Shortly thereafter, I had the opportunity to hire a mentor. I got involved in the real estate business, mm. started a wholesale residential mortgage company, nice. and began to see the tie-ins between credit and how the rest of your life is gonna go. If you are not concentrating on what they consider to be your life's financial report card, then guess what? You are gonna pay the consequences and you will pay dearly in actual dollars and cents, folks. Mm. So if you care about money, you should care about your credit. And what we talk about on our channel, Dan, is the concept of other people's money. We, we like to think of ourselves as the perfect blend between the Robert Kiyosaki ideas of leveraging money to create wealth while also treating debt as if it is a cancerous danger. It is, mm. it's, it's the blend between Dave it's Ramsey. A two edge, it's two-edged sword, I it always is. talk about. It. Exactly, yeah. so we look at it as a tool that when used well and correctly, it's gonna work really, really well for you. And when it's used incorrectly, it will be a tremendous danger. Credit is something that since that time, uh, you know, I cared a lot about. And I was, I was presented with the opportunity to hire a mentor, one of the original pioneers of the credit industry, the original FICO credit score. FICO is the Fair, Fair Isaac Corporation. Uh, Fair Isaac Company has created this algorithm that takes all the data from your payment histories and it processes it into this magical score. And the, ma the, the highest score you can get is an 850. And that's so- That's the perfect score. That's the perfect credit score, mm -hmm. right. And it's said that about a million people, according to, to Fair Isaac, have an 850 credit score. Mine right now is 820, 830. The way that you develop really, really excellent credit quickly is by understanding the different elements that go into the credit score. So I've been considered one of the foremost leading experts on the subject of credit, and we have managed to dovetail that into a tremendous amount of, of assets, and mm. credit has since become a very small spoke in a much bigger wheel. When we first started, we were out teaching on credit. That was really our, our, our but main- But the credit is a mean to an end. It's that's a, exactly it's right. It's a tool. When we started realizing that, you know, once I hit 25 years old, I started seeing how credit influenced all these other things, mm -hmm. and those other things were much more valuable. I just needed the tool to get to those other things. Right, so right. that's what we focus on our channel about. So I want to leave you guys with a couple of really cool techniques that you'll never hear about in school. Mm -hmm. Your parents aren't going to know about this. Your friends aren't going to know about this. So make sure you share this video with everybody you know. The first that. technique that is extremely popular on my channel is talking about a strategy that was expected to go away a long time ago known as piggybacking or the authorized user technique. It's one of the fastest ways to skyrocket your score. I've seen more people get 100 point credit scoring increases from this one technique mm, or even like more that. than that within 30 to 60 days. Wow. So the very first thing you wanna do is find out whether or not you have a friend or a family member that is willing to look into this tactic with you and understands that they don't have any risk. Okay, okay. so the primary account holder being your friend or relative that owns an account uh, has to be willing to add me on their account mm. as an authorized user. Now, if I'm added as an authorized user, within that next reporting cycle, which usually happens 45 days or less, I will immediately adopt the entire history of that one credit card account. Mm. So if your friend or relative has, say, 10 years of history of mm. on-time payments on this account, I will suddenly receive on my credit report Boom. 10 years worth of on-time history on that account. Now, there are some very key uh, pieces of cautionary uh, information you're gonna have to consider before you do this. Number one, the primary account holder has to, has to be paying that account on time. Don't sign up as an authorized user on an account that has any past due payments, any delinquencies, or if they're in default, you're gonna adopt the negative yes, just good. as easily as yeah. you would adopt the positive. Yes. That also means that you wanna make sure that the utilization ratio is very low. 
I like to look for accounts that have at least a $5,000 credit limit. Okay. Okay, so 5,000 available. And anytime they are spending above zero, and the closer it gets to 5,000, the more that will negatively impact you. That is worth 30% of your overall credit score. So mm. how much you're borrowing compared to what's available to mm. you is worth 30% of your score. What's surprising to most people, Dan, is that paying your bills on time is only valued at 35 percent wow okay so it's worth almost as much to your credit score to keep your balances compared to your limits as low as possible mm. so make sure that if you're being added as an authorized user mm. that the primary account holder keeps a low balance preferably they're paying it off in full every single month right finally you want to make sure that this person is uh is is understanding that they can remove you at any time. So this is not a permanent co-signer, co-borrower situation. So unlike actually going on the account where you can never be removed until the account is paid for there's, and there's closed. no risk on, for them. No risk at all. Yeah. Within a five minute conversation, yeah. you can be added. And within a five minute conversation, you can be removed. Here's the downside. Not every creditor is gonna allow this to happen. So not every credit card provider actually will recognize authorized users and report to the credit bureaus. So just because you're added as an authorized user, you have to ensure that they're actually gonna hold you liable for that balance if there is one. And the liability, while it sounds like a risk, isn't if you're dealing with a primary account holder who manages their money really, really well. Got so it. if they're managing their money well and uh, they report to the credit bureaus, then it's a win-win and you can adopt the history. If they don't get your social security number, it's a sign that you're not liable. Mm. So that's a good indicator. You can also just flat out ask. So again, this is usually based on a quick five minute conference call, primary account holder and you are on the phone, call the creditor and ask to be added. Will I be liable for this account? Do you need my social security number, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Mm. So very good technique. You'll see your scores skyrocket within 100. Now, I don't, uh, within 30 days, and it can be as much as 100 points. Now, I don't recommend this as a permanent strategy. This is a stepping stone to get into your own credit. Mm. So if you're just trying to build your credit up, this is a great way to get to a better score so you can apply for your own credit card accounts and then get removed right. from that person's credit right. account. Okay? I love it. Second technique. Second technique is pay before the statement closing deadline, folks. I talked about the utilization ratio, also known as debt to available ratio, not to be confused with debt to income ratio, which we hear about all the time. It's used in underwriting to determine if you're a good borrower. Debt to available is determined by the uh, credit scoring algorithm as how much you're borrowing compared to what's available to you. If we know that that's worth 30% of your score, then we wanna manipulate the system as much as possible. What most people don't know is that credit card companies or other creditors will generally report once per month. Yes. But they report on or around the statement closing deadline. The statement closing deadline is not the same thing as your due date. Okay. The statement closing deadline is the last day that transactions are added to your monthly invoice before they cut the invoice and it's the last day that the uh, transactions are added and they send you the bill and the bill is due a couple weeks later. Okay. So you're you're spending, 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 spending. You have the highest balance here. Right. It cuts off and then they report to the bureaus. Right. So it's showing that even if you have a $5,000 limit and you're spending $3,000 right, all, all the way up, $3,000 and then you pay it to zero every month, What's reporting? 3,000, not zero. 3,000 is reporting. 3,000 is a 60% utilization. 60% utilization is considered very harmful to your credit report. Mm. Now, a lot of people have heard the milestones, keep it below 30%, keep it below 50%. And yes, those are great benchmarks to focus on, right. but every dollar increase to how much you're borrowing compared to what's available is considered harmful. Every dollar decrease uh, of what you're borrowing is considered helpful. Mm. So try and have it as low as possible. I teach, uh, and my preference is, to pay every single day I pay my balances in full. And the reason I do that is because I'm able to go in and look at the transaction history and oh, see and manage what it. I'm doing. It, it takes five minutes. I know where I've spent the money. I have one business account, one personal account. We keep this separate so it's very easy for bookkeeping. I go into the business, pay it to zero. Personal, pay it to zero. So if you're just wanting to pay once per month, that's okay, but try and pay several days before the statement closing deadline so that when they report, you have a much lower balance that's reporting, which will have a tremendous impact on your personal credit scores. I so love guys, it. So, so one, it. one is a, a fast strategy, 30, 60 days, authorized user, but one is a more long-term habit month, that every you month have. Habit. Yep. I love it. That's how you build it perfect credit score. Matt, I appreciate it. Make sure, check out Matt's channel. I'm gonna put a link right here, that which you have a lot of videos that goes more in depth on the All about techniques. creating wealth, all about creating cash flow, folks.